Assalamualaikum and hi students. How are you? I hope all of you are doing well and ready to learn. Okay. Remember, before this, we have already learned about the human and animals. Okay. So today, we are going to go through another topic which is also interesting and uh, relatable with our daily life. Okay. So our new topic is pun. So today, we are going to learn ways of reproduction in plants. Okay, first of all, what is reproduction? Okay, as we all know, human needs plant and animals need plant also. So, if the plant did not reproduce, there will be no more plant after this. So, the importance of this reproduction is to prevent the extinction of plants. How do plants reproduce? There are six ways of reproduction in plants. Seeds suckers, underground stems, spores, stem cutting, and also leaf. Okay, we are going to discuss each of these ways of the reproduction. Okay, the first one, seeds. What is seeds? Seed is the part of a seed plant which can grow into a new plant. Okay, plants that produce a fruits reproduce through seeds. Okay, the examples here are chili plant and also papaya tree. Okay, besides this, uh, mango, strawberry also reproduce through seeds. Okay, as you can see here, these are seeds that can be found inside the chili plant. Okay, so let's watch the video on how to plant a mango by using its seed.
Okay, number two, suckers. Suckers are young plants that grow near their parent plants. They can grow into new plants. Okay, examples here. Okay, banana plant and also yam plant. Okay, you can see here. Uh, the big one, okay, yang besar ni ialah parent plant. And the small one we call suckers. Number three, underground stems. Okay, underground stems are the parts of plants that will grow into new plants when planted. Okay, example, onion and potato. So, after this, I'm going to show you the video of onion and potato. Okay, number four, spores. Non-flowering plants, okay, tumbuhan yang tidak berbunga reproduce through spores. Okay, you can see here spores, okay, yang kecil-kecil ni, like a dust. Okay, so examples here, ferns and also mushrooms reproduce through spores. And then number five, stem cutting or keratin batang. Okay, when a stem cutting of a plant is planted, it will grow into a new plant. Okay, example here, tapioca, 
bougainvillea and then uh, pineapple okay they can produce new plant when we planted the stem cutting okay let's watch the video of uh, bougainvillea Then the last one, number six, leaf. Okay, so there are also plants that reproduce through their parents' leaf. Ada juga tumbuhan yang dia akan membiak, okay, melalui daun. Jadi melalui daun ni dia akan tumbuhlah pokok yang baru, daun yang baru. Okay, for example here, 
snake plant and also setawar. Okay, so let's watch the video of snake plant. So in your activity book, I want you to complete page 45 and 46. Page 45, Ways of Plant Reproduction. Okay, as uh, usual, you need to write the date at each page. Okay, state the ways these plants reproduce. Just now we have learned there are six ways of plant reproduction so there are six pictures here you need to look carefully at these pictures and write the answers and then page 46 okay find the plants you okay, find the names of plants okay you need to find six names of uh, plants here okay i give you one example okay the first one snake plant okay so you need to use a uh, color pencil number two write the names of the six plants in the table below and tick the way each one reproduce okay so just now number one snake plant so you need to write snake plant here and then ways of reproduction okay number one stand for stem cutting Number two, leaf. Number three, suckers. Four, seeds. Five, underground stems. And six, spores. So, for snake plant, okay, you need to take, um, okay, snake plant reproduce through leaf, okay? So, snake plant here, you take number two. And then, okay, so you need uh, to complete until uh, six. Okay, and then number three, 
Based on the table above, name the plants that have more than one way of reproducing. Maksudnya, dia uh, boleh membiak lebih dari satu cara. Uh, mungkin dua cara. Okey, berdasarkan uh, nama tumbuhan yang awak jumpa kat atas tadi lah. Dah jumpa, awak kena tulis kat dalam ruang ni. And then you need to answer question number 3. Okay, we are going to discuss the answer after this. Okay, for 45, okay, ways of plant reproduction. So, I will give you the answers. I hope all, all, all of you will get the correct answers. Okay, so here's snake plant and then a uh, mushroom, tapioca, potato, basil, and one more mango. Okay, so you need to write all the answers in the space provided and take the way each one reproduce okay you need to take how the plants reproduce okay snake plant leaf mushroom spores okay tapioca and then potato basil mango you need to take the correct answer and then number three based on the table above name the plants that have more than one way of re reproducing okay I give you the clue. Okay, the plants can, uh, the plant can reproduce through leaf and also seeds. Okay, so only one answer here. So the answer is basil. Okay, basil. This is the answer for number three. Okay, and then. In your exercise book, I want you to do some notes on ways of reproduction in plants, okay, in this uh, form of a uh, graphic organizer. Okay, you must list down all the ways of reproduction in plants. There are six ways and you need to give three examples of plant for each of the way. Okay, for example, seeds here. Okay, so number one, I put here mango and then you need to list down another two answers. Same also with the others. Okay, kau, awak kena lengkapkan nota ini dengan contoh-contoh tumbuhan mengikut uh, ways of reproduction. Okay, so I hope you can do this in your exercise book. Okay, you can do this uh, beautifully. Okay. In your own creativity, okay, maybe you want to put uh, some drawing here, okay, you can do that. Make it as interesting as you can so that uh, your notes will look uh, interesting and kamu akan suka lah tengok nota, suka baca nota kan bila kita buat kerja tu cantik, okay, kita sendiri pun uh, bersemangat nak baca nota tu. So, I hope uh, you can complete all your work in your activity book and also in your exercise book also. So, that's all for our today's lesson and I hope all of you take good care of yourself during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, stay safe and Assalamualaikum.